guys, this is going to be a pretty sloppy video because I'm not feeling all that great. But I'm about to make one of my favorite meals. Um, it's not sour cream enchiladas, that's not one of my favorite meals, but um, I bought the ingredients to make spaghetti. We have all this made spaghetti. So, I'm about to make spaghetti and decided I would try to make a video about it, but again, not feeling my best, so... Um, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm not gonna like, show you all the ingredients and everything, we're just kind of go through it as we do it. So, I have my skillet here, the heat's not on yet, but I'm gonna be browning a pound of ground beef in the skillet here, and then over here I have a big pot full of, not full, it's like half full of water, I'm gonna bring that to a boil, um, for my spaghetti noodles. And this is the kind I have, and see, um, Kroger Thin Spaghetti. That's what it looks like right there. So I'm going to have put some of those in there in the pot once it comes to a full boil. Right now it's going to get the ground beef in the skillet. Uh, I don't usually turn the heat on until after I get all the hamburger meat in there. And with me, my preference is always to pick it apart with my hands. Instead of trying to spatula, spatula it to death <laughs> in a big clump in the pan, I just put a big part of my fingers and make it a little bit easier from the get-go. So, yeah, this is one pound. This half, this half pound here, another half pound over there of ground beef. I'm not sure all you can see, guys. We can't see where you're at here. Okay, so what I do is I just, again, pick it apart into smaller-ish chunks of my fingers and then put it in the pan. I don't turn the heat on on the pan and the skillet until I have all the ground beef in there. So but I prefer to do it this way is how I've always done it. Nobody taught me to do it this way. This is my preference. I see people making a lot of recipes who just put the whole chunk of ground beef, the whole pound in there and then try to break it up with a spatula and I just don't have that kind of patience or energy. So especially today. So but I know that if I post a picture of this, you guys are saying, wait, where's the recipe? Where's the video about it? So I saw I do a lot of a half ruined video of me making this. It's pretty simple and basic. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who make spaghetti a lot better than I make it. With a lot more ingredients and spices and seasonings and probably tastes a lot better than mine. But, <laughs> but this is one of my favorite meals for a long time. And um, it's good food, so I'll kind of just walk you through the process as we go through it. So, get this picked out here. This is just what I do, this is how I do it. So, yeah. Um, again, this is how I prefer to do it. Okay, let me get the other half pound. Okay. Alright. Grab the big chunk. And pick it apart. Just into smaller ish chunks. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and turn the water on and get it started boiling here. Hang on for a second. Okay. 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 Grab another chunk of it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Done with this step. Alright. Then we'll get this um this uh burner turned on and the heat going on this. Okay. There and 
the last little bit out of here if I can. person is different this is my preference I will take the some um, onion powder if you can see that sprinkle it over the ground beef put that back grab some garlic powder because I love garlic sprinkle it over there there we go and then grab a little bit of pepper not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, that in there. I don't usually add salt because the beef, for, to me, is salty enough as it is. So let me get my strainer in the sink, ready for the ground beef to be put into it. Let me grab my paint. Ouch. Okay, let me get the sauce out of here. Okay, so. Well, I use my favorite spaghetti sauce for a long time. It's always been the ragu old world style flavored with meat. So what I do is I put this in a pan right here. I'll show you. Oop. Okay. There. I'll pour this in a pan. I like a lot of sauce. So don't judge me. <laughs> I like a lot of the sauce, so don't judge me. Okay, there we go. All right. Oop. Still a little bit left in there. We'll save that back. Okay, so generally, what I do is I have the ground beef. I brown the ground beef. And then I drain it, um, I strain it, and then what I will do is I will add the ground beef once it's browned and drained, I will add it into the sauce and heat them up together. This pan here, of course, is getting hot. I put the noodles in, let them sit in there for, for 15 to 20 minutes on, on like a medium high heat, and then drain those as well. So this, I have the spaghetti noodles, I have the ground beef, I have the um, sauce over here, and that's kind of how I do this. I will come back once I have the beef done and ready to be added to the sauce. Stay tuned. Okay, the uh, water is at a boil now. So we're going to add some the noodles. Probably way too many, but that's okay. <laughs> Probably way too many, but that's okay. We'll just say, we'll just have extra noodles, I guess. Actually, see. I'll put a few of them back. Okay. There we go. Okay, still a lot though. Okay. Whew! Alright. I like to break them in half and then drop them in. Then we'll bring the heat down. So about there, there we go, and add a little bit of salt to the water, okay, spoon, alright, we'll give these about 20 minutes. So, 
noodles are starting now. We will let's see, add the meat to the pan. Careful in here. Add the meat to the sauce. Just like that. Seconds left, 
So I'll be back in about one minute, 20 seconds. Stay tuned, okay, guys. Okay, guys, I just pulled the garlic knots out of the, fr out of the, out of the freezer. Wow. Out of the oven. <laughs> I'm going to go and strain the pasta. So you won't be able to see that part, but I'm going to strain the pasta. Yes, it is. second here. Oh, hello. I have my three garlic knots fresh out of the oven. See how they are. They're hot. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to go and dish up and eat. Oh, my back is screaming. <clears throat> Here's the finished product. So I got steam coming off it. And I have my three garlic knots. Ready to eat. I'm not going to do a taste test because I've been making this for years and I love it. It's so good. <laughs> no taste test necessary. This is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and relax, rest my back, and eat. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. And I will see you in the next one.